Okay, this is going to be my prediction <coughs> slash thoughts video on the WWE Championship match this Sunday at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view between uh, the champion, CM Punk, challenger, Daniel Bryan, and the star of this feud slash program, uh, AJ, AJ Lee, whatever. Now, personally, I was looking forward to this match so much because after their first match at, I think it was Over the Limit, whatever, it was amazing. You know, finally, the casual WWE fans got to see a match where two guys just went in there and tore the house down, no gimmicks, no nothing, just two guys putting on a classic wrestling match, and the finish led to a guaranteed rematch sometime down in the future. Now, then AJ got involved, and it's like, okay, sure, she's she's there, you know, Daniel Bryan's ex-girlfriend, kind of rub it in a bit to CM Punk, so Daniel Bryan's going to have someone to fight for. But then as the weeks went by, AJ's role became more and more and more evident that she was what this feud was revolved around. Forget the WWE title, because that seems to be in second compared to what AJ is right now. I think the fans and the WWE has led the, the casuals to believe that who cares who has the title, it's all about who AJ is going to end up with at the end of the night. And it's just sitting here as a fan who has watched Brian Danielson in ROH for, what, eight, nine, 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 you know, for 43, two years before he actually left. CM Punk, a guy who had just broken all barriers for in the indie scene and has openly went and just bashed every storyline WWE's put on in his ROH promos to see them both in this predicament where... It's like, what are you guys doing? You guys are world-class athletes, and then you have this AJ kind of holding you back and making you guys look like fools where it's supposed to be like, hey, you know, you're the heel, you're the face, you're the champion, you're the challenger, and we're going to go in there and we're going to see who the better man is. Not, oh, I want to walk out with AJ. Oh, I want AJ to this. I want AJ this. AJ's on my side. AJ's on his side. And that's what I think Raw for the past month and this pay-per-view has been leading towards and quite honestly that's what's turned me off from this a great amount I'm sure the match is gonna be good I'm sure they're gonna just put on a better match than the first time but I what can I say I don't see them I just see AJ being a big part of the ending which could potentially ruin it but I think CM Punk is gonna end up losing the title one way or the other whether it be a money in the bank cash in or AJ going with Daniel Bryan, because I don't see her going with CM Punk. To, that's one of my predictions there. Um, that and just, I don't know, just Raw, how they've just based everything around AJ. She's been on the front, like the beginning of the show, the middle of the show, and the end of the show. And it seems like wherever, whenever you watch Raw, you were guaranteed to see AJ the same amount of times you were guaranteed to see Cena at one point of his career, I'd say two or three years ago, where he would be at the beginning, middle, and the end. Now they just stick Cena up there at the beginning of the second hour, where I think most of the fans start watching, and um, that's that's what it is right now. It seems like it's like, you know, Brock Lesnar saying, Raw Super Show starring Brock Lesnar, this is legitimately Raw starring AJ. And not saying that she's bad at it, but she is getting a little... So, you know, it's not, it's not fresh anymore. You know what she, how she's making those faces, skipping to the ring. It's just getting a little more and more annoying each time. Cause I, I'm not here to see, you know, a girl who's not even. She's okay, but she's not the greatest. She's good at what she does, but she's not that good to be on Raw. You know, more than any other superstar, pretty much on the whole roster. And that's what I think. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I see, CM Punk losing the title may not be to Daniel Bryan, but I do see CM Punk losing. I do see AJ not going with Punk and to Daniel Bryan or a Money in the Bank cash in person, whether it be Kane or it won't be Cena, I know that, but CM Punk's getting just bare <laughs> CM Punk is taking the hard fall in this pay per view, in my opinion, in my prediction. And um yeah, that's that's about it. Short video today. Uh ROH tickets go on sale tomorrow. Um, I tweeted before about, um, what was I just saying? Front row tickets, because they go on sale, Supercard of Honor, 
is the uh, the name of the the pay per view. I'm sure it's going to be a pay per view, and it's whether I'm going to get front row on the floor like I usually do. But since it is my first time in New York, first time in the Hammerstein Ballroom, which is another check mark off that bucket list of wrestling fans things to do. Uh, I don't know if I should get the balcony because that's kind of a once in a not a blue moon, but it's once in a long time thing. And considering I'm front row for a show coming up in September, you know, going to sit on the balcony in April, next April, won't be all that bad. I think it would be a lot of fun, to be quite honest, to have that overhead view. But that's that. This is the prediction video for Money in the Bank. <laughs> kind of getting off topic, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.